My own boon talk, everybody. Good morning. It's April 4th, and it's about, oh, 5.30-ish in the morning. We're heading to Chemigan today. Uh, last time we were there was 2020, 2020. And uh, so it's been three years since we've been out there. Uh, it's about a three-hour ride from here uh, to Balling One, which is the where we'll catch the ferry over to Chemigan. So... We're going to do a three-hour ride. Uh, we're bringing along our in-laws, uh, Mario and uh, uh, Maria's sister, and my nephew, Lindell. So let's get on the bike. I'm not going to bore you with a three-hour ride, but I'll show you some cool stuff along the way. And then uh, I'll probably break up this Chemigan uh, trip into a few videos, so make sure you subscribe. And uh, let's get on the bike. Let's go. Hi, I'm Boondog, everybody. Good morning. We're on the road headed to Chemigan, Chemigan Island. According to Google Maps, it's going to take uh, approximately 2 hours, 25 minutes. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, there's quite a few clouds this morning. Hopefully, they'll burn off. It was sprinkling just a little bit ago, so hopefully we won't have to put on the rain gear. But uh, we are prepared if we need to. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a rainbow up ahead. And it is sprinkling a little bit. So we're just going to... We're going to take our time. We're not going to rush it. Because it does make the roads a little bit slippery. So, and especially with two of us on here. But yeah, rainbow gonna go uh, find that pot of gold let's go we are coming upon a roundabout this is barangay bankasi and uh, this is where the butuan bankasi airport is so if you were to fly into butuan you can uh, probably catch a ride from there to robinson's mall and then catch a bus out to uh baling one to catch the ferry but a big roundabout and last time we were here there was a checkpoint up ahead so we'll see if it's still here checkpoint is right here again it's been uh, about three years since we've been there been this way and you just slow down unless they say pull over all right we're good to go That was the uh, LTO checkpoint, Land Transportation Office, uh, basically the traffic police, but they didn't tell me to pull over, so we're keeping on going. Buena Vista. Came up here for Christmas lights one year with Andy and Agnes. In these, you know, towns, you got to really be careful of uh, the right-hand lane because people just pop out from uh, anywhere and they don't really pay attention. So, but the uh, right lane is mainly for uh, motorcycles. I don't know if you can, I'm sure you can tell on the road if you look at the road, there's like a div divider here, right? And sometimes that division, there's a big lip. So when you're changing lanes, you really gotta be careful. This is the type of bus that uh, Mario and
my and uh, family are riding. Another checkpoint. Lots of checkpoints, but no one's pulling us over, so we must be doing good. This is a uh, school crossing. This is how they do it. They just put out some uh, barriers in the middle of the road. And you kind of got to go around, wait for people. So it's early morning, kids are going to school. People are going to work. Looks like we got another uh, school crossing up here. I think this is a Nisipit. Yeah, and they sip it is here. So, if you go that way, there's another ferry terminal. And also, this is where our friends Ag Agnes and uh, Andy live. Philly and some Joe. Hello, Philly and some Joe. Down that way. So, they sip it. Look at these coconuts. So cool. And yet again, another checkpoint. I've lost count how many we've uh, hit. I didn't think there were gonna be too many, or as many. Uh, I don't know if they're aftermath from uh, the COVID situation. Maybe I just don't remember hitting that many. But, uh, it's all good. I got all, uh, I got my license and everything, so. By the way, if you're coming to the Philippines, visiting the Philippines, you can have 90 days with your driver's license, your home country's driver's license. But, if you're gonna be riding a scooter, make sure you are endorsed to ride bikes in your home country. because uh, they'll get you. But yeah, you have 90 days once you arrive in the Philippines with your home country license. Okay guys, we are coming into Carmen, our next city. Carmen by the sea. I think uh, we have to go left here, if I am correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This is a animal quarantine checkpoint. Do I need to stop? I don't know. Huh? I don't know if I'm supposed to stop or not. I don't think so. <laughs> kind of confusing. Oh well, at least my tires are clean, right? <laughs> kind of weird. Oh well. I guess it should have showed an arrow. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's some ocean out there, ocean. Be pretty nice. On the main road, have your house with the ocean right there. Look at this, uh, look at how they load the logs. You know, uh, 
In Oregon, they load them front to back, but here, they cut them to length to, I guess, stack more or something. That's a heavy load there. Wasn't told to stop. And another checkpoint. PNP checkpoint. You see this on the road? This looks like oil. So you gotta be really careful because that could be slick. I don't know who it's from. But someone is losing some sort of liquid and it looks like oil. Got a big log truck ahead of us again. Here's a big river. And another animal quarantine checkpoint means we have to ride through some sort of uh, water, wash our wheels. Bada bing, bada bang. Got a bunch of banners up here. Looks like maybe they had a fiesta here. Ah, look at all the banners. Pretty cool. Happy fiesta, it says. Happy fiesta, wherever we are. All right, guys, we have made it to Hingahook. Uh, we're about 45 minutes away from uh, Balinwan where we're gonna catch the ferry. But we wanted to stop and uh, rest our butt. It's been a while since we've been uh, riding, so our butt's a little sore. We're just gonna take a potty break and then we'll get back on that road. This the town of Hingahook. Had, uh, we stopped at Jollibee, didn't, didn't buy anything, we just uh, used the facilities, the restroom, CR.
of the GoPro died on my helmet, but we made it to Balin One. And uh, now we're just waiting on the rest of the family to arrive by bus. We're at the bus terminal. And then uh, we need to find out where we, last time we, uh, I thought we bought tickets here at the bus station. But the port is just across the street, walking distance. So maybe we gotta buy the tickets down that way. So we'll find out. All right, so we made it to the uh, port of Balin One. Uh, Mary Lou is off hunting for tickets. Just hanging out with the bike. You can see the CA ferry over there. The port of Balin One. And the weather has turned in our favor. So just so you know, you have to fill out some information. I will put it down below. Uh, they give you a QR code for each passenger. This is the uh, QR code that you're going to need. And uh, again, I'll put the link down below. But there's people here to help you out, fill it out. So by the way, it took about three and a half hours, uh, maybe a little bit longer, but we arrived around 9.30 a.m. and uh, we left at about six. So, yeah, about three and a half hours, a little bit more. McConnell. McConnell. Yes. Thank you, sir. You just uh, here. Yes. Okay. Here is 24. Okay, Lamat. Okay. is the ferry that we're riding. They have a little uh, store over here. You can buy like dippies and sodas probably. And uh, like top ramen, cup of noodles. We'll go uh, take a look here. There's the bridge. And the port of Balin One. There's Mario, I can see him coming. Uh, 
Oh, he's doing the heavy work. He's got both bags. Looks like we got a new building going in over here. Here's your Mary Lou. I obviously uh, drove in and then they had to probably go through security. So over there is Kimmigan. Here comes another ferry coming in. Eleven forty five taking off. Balling one. Heading over to Camigan. I think it's about an hour uh, ferry ride. And the port we're going to is uh, Benoni. So when you're doing your research, you want to go Balinwan, Benoni. Benoni port is in Chemigan. That's uh, Mount Sipaka. We, uh, I'll put a video up here. We climbed to the top of that and then we also went to a secret beach think we're going to do that again on this trip. Pulling out from the mainland, headed to the island. You want the ticket? Uh, yeah, B O R. Huh? O R. Oh, Q R. Yeah, yeah, no, O R O R. Oh, boy, yeah, this one, this one. Hey. Okay. Okay. Lamat. Okay. Ramping. Oh, minute. Oh, it's you, it's you. <laughs> That's Kim. Uh, how do you, how do you? Water, 
Did you tell them DNA? No, there's no. It's. Where are they going? We have to go there and then buy our, our and then another uh, motor motorilla. No one's gonna go there straight. It's one of the person to Qatar. So do they have enough money to get to where they're going? Okay. Well, we made it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the ride out to Chemigan. It was pretty fun, and I uh, hope it gives you some sort of idea of what to expect if you decide to do the same trip. Now, you can do the uh, do it from Cagayan de Oro out to Bali and Juan as well. So, you know, any place in Minna now, you're going to get the Chemigan. So, in the next video. We're going to show you around the resort that we stayed at for a couple nights. Uh, did a lot of snorkeling. After that, I'm going to post another video of going... We're staying with the locals. They had a celebration at the Barangay. The birth of the Barangay is pretty amazing. Yeah, very cultural and uh, just... Uh, so awesome. So make sure you subscribe and uh, we hope to see you in the next one. Appreciate everybody sticking around appreciate all the support and the positive comments so good but anyway we'll see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>